Welcome back grade 3. We are together again with a story which is called Tamer's Travels. We said before that Tamer is Egyptian. He is 8 years old. He wants to speak to other people from different countries. At the end, he has two friends, Leo and Chen. Let's see what happened with Tamer after that. Here in this picture, we see Tamer and his new friend, Leo and Chen. Here, Tamer asks Leo and Chen about eating breakfast. Leo has a croissant and orange juice. Chen has soup and pen. Let's read the text together. One day, Tamer asks Leo and Chen about what do you eat for breakfast. Leo says, I have a croissant and orange juice. So what does Leo eat for breakfast? He has a croissant and orange juice. The next paragraph, Chen says, that looks delicious. I have soup and pens for breakfast. So what does Chen have for breakfast? He has soup and pens for breakfast. Now, Let's go to our practice time. Number one, complete the sentence. Leo has a croissant and, and who can guess? Yes, Leo has a croissant and orange juice. Number two, Shin has space and bins for breakfast. Who can guess? Yes, Shin has soup and bins for breakfast. Number three, that looks space. Who can guess? Yes that looks delicious number two exercise number two answer the questions number one what does leo have for breakfast who can guess yes the correct answer he has a croissant and orange juice so number one what does leo have for breakfast he has a croissant and orange juice question number two what does chen have for breakfast what does Chen have for breakfast? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. He has soup and pens for breakfast. He has soup and pens for breakfast. In this picture, I can see Tamer and his friend Leo and Chen. Tamer, about his breakfast, he has full and egg sandwiches and tea with milk and he wants to eat a Chinese breakfast. Tamer asks his friend, his friends Leo and Chen about technology they use at school. Chen some, says sometimes he works with his friend on a computer. He learned how to move a small robot. Let's uh, read the text together. Tamer says, I want to eat a Chinese breakfast that looks uh, awesome. I have full and egg sandwiches and tea with milk. It's yummy. So what does Tamer have for breakfast? He has full and egg sandwiches and the tea with milk. Next paragraph. One day Tamer asks, what technology do you use at school? Shen says, sometimes I work with my friend on a computer. We learn how to move a small robot. It's very interesting. Now we are going to our practice time. Number one, complete the sentence. Number one, Tamir says, I want to eat a space breakfast. Who can guess? Yes, Tamir says, I want to eat a Chinese breakfast. Number two, Tamir has space and egg sandwiches and space with milk. Who can guess? Yes, the first space, Tamer has full and egg sandwiches and tea with milk. Number three, Chen works with her friend on a space. Who can guess? Yes, Chen works with her friend on a computer. Number four, Chen learns how to space a small robot. Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. Chen learns how to move a small robot. 
Number two, exercise number two, answer the questions. Number one, what does Tamer have for breakfast? What does Tamer have for breakfast? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. Tamer has full and eggs sandwiches and the tea with milk. So the first question, what does Tamer have for breakfast? Tamer has full and eggs sandwiches and tea with milk. Number two, what does Tamer want to eat? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. Tamer wants to eat a Chinese breakfast. So, number two, what does Tamer want to eat? Tamer wants to eat a Chinese breakfast. In this picture, I can see Tamer, Chen and Leo, and Tamer's friend, Egyptian friends. Tamer, Leo says about technology they use. Leo works on a tablet with his friends, and he uses a special keyboard. And Tamer at school he works on a computers in computer lab. He uses internet to do online researches. Let's read our text. Leo says, That's great. Sometimes I work on a tablet with my friends. It has a special keyboard. And you, Tamer, what do you use in Egypt? Tamer says, at school we work on computers, in, co in the computer lab. We use the internet to do online research on interesting topics. It's awesome. So, what, where, where does Tamer work on computers? In the computer lab. Excellent. Now, let's go to our exercise number one. Complete the sentences. Number one, Leo works on a space with his friends. Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. Leo works on a tablet with his friends. Number two, tablet has a special space. Who can guess? Yes, tablet has a special keyboard. Number three, Tamer works on computers in the space. Who can guess? Yes, Tamer works on computer on the computer lab. Number two, answer the questions. Number one, why do Tamer and his friends use the internet? Why do Tamer and his friends use the internet? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. They use the internet to do online researches on interesting topics. They use the internet to do online research on interesting topics. Number two, question number two. What does Tamer use at school? What does Tamer use at school? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. He uses the internet. He uses the internet. In this picture, I can see Tamer, the Sphinx, Pyramid, and Tamer, his friend, his friends, Leo and Chen. Chen says or asks Tamer about monuments that have in his countries. Tamer says he has a lot of monuments, great monuments like the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. And Leo asks Tamer, do you live in Cairo? Let's read the text. One day, Chen says, what monuments do you have in your countries? Tamer says, in my country, we have many beautiful monument monuments. For example, the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. Look at this. Chen says, they are fantastic. Leo says, wow. Leo asks, Tamer, do you live in Cairo? Leo asks, Tamer, do you live in Cairo? Now, let's go to our new practice. Number one, complete the sentences. Number one, Shen says, what space do you have in your country? Shen says, what space do you have in your country? Who can guess? 
Yes, the correct answer. Shin says, what monuments do you have in your country? Number two, Tamer says, in my country, we have space monuments. Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer. Tamer says, in my country, we have many beautiful monuments. Number two, answer the questions. Number one, what monuments do, does Tamer have in, the, in his country? What monuments does Tamer have in his country? Who can guess? Yes, the correct answer, he has many beautiful monuments, for example, the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. He has many beautiful monuments, for example, the Sphinx and the Great Pyramids. Now, we finish the second part of our story, Tamer's Travel, and I wish this session is good for you. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.